Well, Abbotsfield is, you ask the police, ask the social workers, ask everybody. It's, it's a, it's a, it, it became a undesirable, uh, affordable area. And a lot of money, a lot of social workers, everything has gone into that. And that's what we've got to be careful. The Northeast Edmonton has lots of different pockets of social housing. We're not afraid of that. I raised my family there. I've lived there my, uh, mm -hmm. for the last 40 years. I'm not afraid of good housing building. And people all of all kinds can live in a place. But I just want to be able to be a little bit more upright of knowing what's going on. So what we're planning for the site um, is about 42 units of supportive housing, as well as some townhouse um, that would be available for affordable home ownership or affordable rental, so for families, as well as market housing, and that's about 156 units of market rental housing. I'm not worried about the concentration because honestly, um, I think there's a lot of speculation of what concentration, what's too much, and in that neighborhood there's a couple of buildings, but it hasn't been identified as an area that should be part of any pause. Um, so we're, we're relying on the, the information that the city has collected as part Part of that work and yes there are um, other projects in the neighborhood there are in every neighborhood that we could be building in there's there's other uh, non-market housing providers um, some of them manage bodies like capital region but many of them small operators and small buildings so um, you know I, I we've looked at that neighborhood we think that it's a great opportunity with the additional development that's planned for the rest of the sites that in the long run this is going to be a fairly small representation of the, the of the neighborhood and the diversity of the neighborhood